Hi, I'm Julie Reeves. You're watching Green at Beacon.com, a member of the Beacon Media Group. The force has got a lot of power, and it makes me feel like that. Welcome back, and now we have Amy Comston with Amy for Africa. So welcome to the program, Amy. Thank you for coming today. Uh, just start off and tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Amy Comston, and I'm actually from Greenup County, born All and right. raised. I uh, went to Greenup County High School, and, um, you know, I, I've always been a runner. Most people in the area know me because I run marathons, okay. and I've always ran. I've ran since I was 11 years old. That's when that passion started. Yeah. And then it wasn't until 2012, actually, till I ran my first marathon. And um, up until that time, I hadn't even ran a 10K. So it's very interesting. It is very interesting. In the running world. But, but since then, I've been able to participate in four world marathons. That's against, you know, Olympians, the best long distance runners. And uh, I get to go back to the Boston Marathon this year. So that'll be my fifth world which will make a total of, I believe, 12 marathons, and then I've ran an ultra marathon, which is 50-mile races, the wow. one I, I ran. How long does that take? It took me seven hours and 36 minutes wow. to run that, that race. that is very impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, it was good. Awesome. Uh, so can you just tell us a little bit about the project that you're involved with, Amy for Africa, kind of how that began? Well... That kind of ties in with the running. Okay. Um, you know, my whole life I, I, I've ran, but with Amy for Africa, I, I now run for God, is what we say. Run for a purpose. Now, my whole life, I pretty much ran away from God. Mm -hmm. um, starting at like age 14, I got into that drug and alcohol abuse, that world, and it took over my life. Um, you know, it nearly killed me three times by drug overdoses, car wrecks, stuff like that. And, you know, it started out small for me, like, well, that's how I justified it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I thought I'm only smoking a joint after school, you know, it's not a big deal. But when you get in that lifestyle, like, I'm sure you know someone in it, it right. spins rapidly out of control. It does, yes. And for me, within a year, I had overdosed twice on different, uh, different pills and substances. And then it took over my life for 14 years. Wow. until 2012 and that's when I I gave my life to the Lord I had nowhere else to turn you know I, I hit rock bottom mm -hmm. hiding in my bedroom doing drugs behind closed doors you know while my children are in the hallway knocking on the door and um, I couldn't do it anymore you know I just couldn't live that life well I've always been a runner the whole time though mm -hmm. and that following year I went to the Boston Marathon in 2013 and that's the year the bombs were at the finish line. Wow. And, you know, I finished about 30 minutes before those bombs went off, but my family stood 20 feet from bomb number one all day. 21 members of my family stood there. Wow. And they left two minutes before that bomb exploded. And if they would have went right or left, there was a bomb on both sides of them. Mm -hmm. But it was like God led them down an alley right in the nick of time. Yeah. So when we got back from Boston, that's when like it hit me like, what am I doing? You know, this whole time I've, I've ran for myself or for my own glory. And it was like, God told me it's time for you to, to run for me, mm -hmm. but more, but more specific. He was very specific. He told me to run for missions in Moyo, Uganda. So that's where Amy for Africa kind of spurred. I didn't really know how to do that, you know, mm -hmm. where and to start. where to start. Yeah. So I sought wise counsel <laughs> and I, I asked Mark Maynard, um, a friend and the editor of the Daily Independent. I said, will you help me? And, you know, he doesn't even know this day why he said yes, but, <laughs> but he said, yeah, I'll help you. And, you know, I was thinking we'll do a little fundraiser. I'll run this 50 mile race and people can sponsor me per mile. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I was thinking. You know, they'll just give me money and I'll put it in an envelope or whatever. Well, Mark was like, nah, I think, I think you need a website and, and we'll call it Amy for Africa. I said, okay, a website, okay. <laughs> How's this going to work? Yeah. Well, we, we set this goal. We're like, we're going to raise $10,000 for the Penny Paris schools in Moyo, Uganda. We chose those schools because our former pastor um, started them. And mm -hmm. I knew about them because he, he kind of counseled me and helped me get through that whole uh, 
recovery process and even like building my relationship with Jesus Christ, he kind of discipled me. And it's what helped break those chains of addiction in my life. But through that discipleship, he would tell me about these schools he started in Africa. Well, at those schools, it was $45 a year to pay for a child's education for an entire year, which is wow, nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, you feed them every day, teach them, teach them about Jesus for $45. Well, when we started the mission, there was um, 200 children. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're like, well, for $10,000, we can pay for all their education for the next year. So we'll raise $10,000. Well, it was amazing when we started that campaign within eight weeks, God had given us ten thousand dollars, so we're like, okay, we'll we'll bump up our goal twenty. Now what 000. can we do? Well, in yeah. twelve weeks we had twenty thousand. By awesome. the time race day, we had forty three thousand dollars raised for these schools mm -hmm. in Africa. Um, so we were just blown away. But but the, with the success of it, we were like, I don't think God's done with this yet. Um, but we didn't really know what to do, so we just started praying and. And God has just blown it out of the water since since then. And that was in May of 2013 when we started. Wow. Yeah. So it still continues on today. It still continues. We're about 21 months into this mission. Mm -hmm. And now we have five schools, over 800 children. We um, feed every day, educate every day, teach about Jesus every day. We have uh, 43 medical clinics that we stock with supplies wow. and medicines. The one hospital in Moyo, um, we stock it with medicines and supplies mm -hmm. and even staff, um, staff some of the hospital. You know, we, we've been able to purchase land over there, 13 acres, you know, so wow. we're very vested in these people. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in this area, unless you've been to a third world country, you cannot comprehend the poverty level. Right. You know, the average family lives off of less than $2 a day. Wow. They live in mud huts. They don't have water. You know, the, the children walk five miles every morning barefoot Things just to get water, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, just to get a jug of water. And um, I went over there in August, and you have three- and four-year-old children carrying a 20-pound jug of water for miles just to bring it back home to their mom. Mm -hmm. And, you know, children have jobs because... You know they can't afford to go to school or there's not a school in the area so right. so they work all day from age four and they, they they have jobs i mean it's just it's just uncomprehendable and uh, the needs over there are so great that that's where god has just laid it on my heart to help those people so how many times have you been able to go over well, I've only been once, okay. and that was uh, last August, and then I will. we are going back in May of this year. Um, now, Brother Floyd, he's over there full-time, okay. and he's uh, who kind of administrates everything mm -hmm. over there, and he's been in that area on and off for 16 years and full-time for about a year and a half. So Wow, so he really sees it firsthand. Yes, yes. Uh, well, this sounds like a, a great project, so... Um, we're going to take a quick break, um, and when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more with Amy Comston with Amy from Africa. I go to Ashland Community and Technical College. Because it's so close. I go. For the small class sizes. I go. Because I can transfer my credits. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go to get a better job. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons, Ashland Community and Technical College. Higher education begins here. Stoltz Pharmacy is now offering patients compounding for their prescription needs. Stoltz Pharmacy is the only pharmacy in the area that is PCCA certified. We can provide you with hormone replacement, neuropathy creams, scar creams, pediatric prescriptions, and we can even help you with your veterinarian needs. If you have any questions, please call 606-834-1052. That's 834-1052. Stoltz Pharmacy in Greenup Flatwoods in Wheelersburg. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stoltz Pharmacy. At Meredith Chiropractic, you will enjoy state-of-the-art chiropractic facilities and discover the true wellness lifestyle. Dr. Terry Meredith is a member of Great Doctors of Chiropractic and has helped many in the Ashland area experience natural healing without surgery or drugs. If you're looking for a skilled chiropractic doctor, visit MeredithChiropractic.com, 
Call 329-8158 or visit Dr. Meredith's office at 2120 Carter Avenue in Ashland. Hi, I'm Julie Reeves. You're watching Green at Beacon.com, a member of the Beacon Media Group. The force has got a lot of power, huh? It makes me feel like that. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more to Amy Comston with Amy for Africa. Amy, can you just tell me a little bit about what you guys have um, upcoming with the project Amy for Africa? Well, this year in 2015, we've been given an awesome opportunity. And I believe it was like November of 2014, we were approached by an organization, a nonprofit called Samaritan's Feet. Mm -hmm. And their goal is to put 10 million shoes on 10 million children in 10 years. Well, they're in 70 countries, including the U.S., but they are not in the Moyo area where, where we serve. Mm -hmm. So the, the founder of Samaritan's Feet approached um, Amy for Africa and asked us, if I give you 26,000 pairs of shoes, wow. <laughs> will you take them to Moyo and put them on the feet of those children? And he said, I only have one, one requirement, though. And he said that you have to tell them about Jesus when you put these shoes on them. And we said, you know, I immediately start crying. <laughs> I'm like, we would love to. Because like I was saying in the previous segment, the children there are walking miles barefoot every day. Yeah. The third leading cause of disease and death in these children is intestinal worms, which they're getting from walking barefoot in contaminated soil. Wow. And the, the parasites are, you know, penetrating their skin, getting in their feet, and, you know, left yeah. untreated. I'm sure they don't have the money for treatment. They don't have yeah. the money for treatment. Actually, when I was in the um, in Moyo in August, I went to the hospital to visit to see how things were going, and there wasn't a drop of medicine in the entire place. Wow. So even if they make it there, there may be medicine, there may not. Mm -hmm. So um, so for these children to put shoes on their feet, it'll, it'll prevent them from the exposure to the parasite. Right. You know, something so easy. So they've given us 26,000 pairs of shoes to take over there. And we're, we're literally going to sit all 26,000 children down and we're going to wash their little feet and put lotion on their feet and apply their first pair of shoes ever. And they're brand new Skechers um, shoes. Mm -hmm. And um, the thing about it, though, is we need we have to pay for shipping of the shoes. Right. The shoes themselves are free. They're giving us $910,000 worth of shoes for wow. free. So we have to pay $2 a pair to ship them, mm -hmm. um, which is $52,000. And we're going in May, so we have to have that 52000 by the end oh, of May. April. Oh, wow. Yeah. Which, you know, it sounds like a big number, but, you know, we have faith and we know we serve a great big God. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we started this campaign on December 17th. And today it's, what, February 4th. And yeah. we have over... 37,000 already raised. God, wow. God has supplied through different organizations. Even the Green at Beacon themselves has, has given. And then we were told today they're going to give even more. All right. Um, yeah. Go Beacon. Yeah. They're going to put another 25 pairs of shoes on children, 25 children. You know, like the Beacon's going to get $50. That's going to put shoes on 25 children who That's have amazing. never had a pair of shoes mm -hmm. ever in their life. So, so we are excited. We are so excited to do this and to just show these children, you know, over there, children are the least of these. You know, they eat last if there's anything left mm -hmm. that they don't have clothing. You know, they may have a shirt or a pair of shorts. You know, it's just the men get treated first, then the women. And if there's anything left, then the children get it. Mm -hmm. So to, to, you know, get on our knees and wash their feet and just show them that kind of love and give them the first pair of shoes probably anyone in their family has ever owned. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we are just excited to do this. But but the whole community kind of has to help us make this happen mm -hmm. because 52000 is is a big number. Right. But people, it's been amazing the support already that we have um, received. And just, you know, most of the donations have just been small, you know, $20 here, $50 here, but they add up. Right. They Every add little up. Bit. They Every do. Little bit helps. And um, we do have an event March 21st. We're having a, a 5K in Greenup at the okay. city park. And, you know, for your entry fee, I think it's like $15. That'll put shoes on seven children 
just to run a race. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's something people love to do. It's fun. It's challenging. But just because you do that and, and run or walk for those kids, that's seven children just by entering this race. Right. It's amazing. Um, so we are excited. We want to, we want to, you know, go over there and put the shoes on all 26,000 and just love those kids and, um, and hopefully give them hope in a hopeless situation. Right. Uh, if people are interested in running the race, how can they uh, find more information about that? Now, the, it's called the Samaritan's Feet Shoes of Hope 5K, and it's on Tri-State Racer. Okay. So, tristateracer.com. Or you can get on our website, amyforafrica.com, and it's all spelled out, mm-hmm. A-M-Y-F-O-R, Africa.com. And information's on there. We keep it very updated. And we're on Facebook, Amy okay. for Africa. And you can like us on there. And we, we keep it very updated. And that way people can know what's going on. Mm-hmm. They can know where their money is going to. You know, we are an official nonprofit 501c3 organization. So, you know, we like to be very transparent. You know, people trust us with their money. Right. So we want to be very transparent where it's going. So, um we want people to follow us. We want people to <laughs> know what's going on. Know what's going on. Pray for us and, and be involved. You know, I think anyone who who gives even two dollars, you're going to be blessed because you're blessing someone else. Right. And that's just how God works. You know, you bless someone else, He's going to bless you back tenfold mm-hmm. easily. So we want people to be involved. Okay. Uh, so maybe somebody's not interested in racing, that might not be their thing, but they do want to maybe support a child or uh, donate some money. Can they do that on your website? Yes, people can give online. Um, it, you can give to the schools, you can give to the shoes, both options are online. Okay. And then, um, you know, if you get on our website, some people don't like to give online. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't feel real safe about it. There's, ad- there's an address on there and you can send a check if you okay. just make it to Amy for Africa. and. Um, and we will, in the memo, put shoes or school, and we will get it to where it needs to go. Um, you know, it's been amazing. The support, like Fairview Elementary, their third third grade class, mm-hmm. raised over $300, put shoes on 150 children, these little third graders. Wow. Um, you know, we've had just amazing things like that. Star Elementary in Grayson, Kentucky, mm-hmm. uh, fourth and fifth graders, put shoes on like 75 children. Um, you know, so... It doesn't matter if you're a child, if you're 90 years old, you can make a difference if you're willing to just be a part of this with us. Right. Uh, well, this sounds like a great project. Um, you know, as, as a mother of small children, uh, I think it sets a great example for people to get involved in the community um, and, and really see what, what can be done with, um, you know, just starting out. So. Um, feel free to visit the website Amy for Africa if you're looking to donate or you can also get on Tri-State Racers to learn more about the race that's upcoming. Uh, Amy, we appreciate you coming in today uh, and thank you so much for all your service. We're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back.